Hello and welcome to Ben in Berlin. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. So much has happened in the last few weeks. It might have even been months and um, I just haven't had the time really uh, to film stuff and to showcase what's been happening. We've moved flat. Uh, my girlfriend's got a job. Um, the charity I volunteer for has rocketed through the roof in terms of um, through the roof or through the roof. <laughs> what we've been up to. Uh, I've got really into foraging, like urban foraging. I'm actually right now in a park, which is about 10 minutes from our new flat. Uh, we're in Vedin, uh, which is north, um, northwest of, sort of central Berlin. It's spelt uh, Wedin in English, but the W's in Germany are pronounced uh, like a V sound, v v Vedin. We also had a whistle stop tour um, back to the UK in the Cotswolds for a friend's wedding, which was great fun. Um, I did start filming the journey and then my phone died, um, it happened. But what I didn't realise was that I've changed my SIM card, I'm now with Audi Talk, um, German provider, and um, you need a PIN number to unlock your phone when it switches off, and I left that PIN number in Deutschland. But I filmed up until I think we got to the pub, on um, a Friday night, the wedding was on a Saturday, and um, I decided that I would try and um, see if I still liked real ale and how much I missed it, and boy, I missed it. So I tried all the different varieties in the pub, which was very jolly, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and, um, and then my phone died, um, but that was great. So finding a flat um, in Berlin is notoriously difficult, um, but you can do it. And um, lots of my friends here have had, you know, there are great success stories and there are, you know, <laughs> some people be looking for six months and still haven't found anywhere. Um, I think it really depends on your circumstances, but also luck. Amazing with the Berlin situation as well. It's not just unemployed people or students or um, people who may appear only be temporary living in Berlin it's also uh, people who've been here for a long time with really good jobs you know getting paid some serious dollar that we found uh, we're really happy with it's ticked every box we've really put in front of it um, you know it's quite big it's got a balcony uh, so far the neighbors have been really cool um, we're in a cool part of town we hadn't really been around before but when we first went there, we thought, yeah, this is really, this is really um, a nice part of Berlin. I'm told it uh, wasn't a run-down part of Berlin, but if you wanted to meet a local here, a local from, from Berlin, this is the kind of place where they'll still be. Plus, there's a huge in international community, so I've just joined that. Um, you've got places like this, you know, on the doorstep, as I said earlier. Uh, great farmer's markets with organic food. Um, we're really close to some nice lakes, so going lake swimming is a really nice way to chill. And I'd say de-stress from work, but the life of the unemployed means you can go to um, a lake whenever you really want. And it's been really warm, like today's quite cool. But I think on Wednesday it was 38 and a half, uh, which is the highest ever June temperature in Germany since records began. And we've all seen what's happened in France and Spain, so it's nice to be a bit cooler today. Uh, today's Friday. On Sunday, however, back up to 37, and I think definitely go to the lake for a bit of a cool down. So I haven't just been walking aimlessly, um, oops, <laughs> this afternoon. I, uh, I saw a round patch of water on the map near the flat, and I thought, I'll check it out. You can just see behind me. You've got a small lake just there, which is pretty cool. I can't see anyone switch this round. No. I can't see anyone swimming in there, which is always um, an interesting part of uh, the lakes in Berlin because people tend to jump into them with a cool off. Now, it could be because it's a Friday afternoon and people are at work, or it might just be a lake you can't swim in. Um, but I'm going to do that. I think it's a British thing where we, we see a lake and we think, yeah, let's walk around it. We're um, <clears throat> on the other side now. Whoop. Duck just um, some sort of animal in the water. It's a pretty pretty lake. There's no one 
um, uh, swimming in there. Uh, there's lots of places to chill out um, nearby. It's pretty murky, so I'm guessing it's more of these, you know, you know pretty lake which um, you can enjoy and look at. Um, but yeah, it's a really relaxing place around here, very chilled. People are just enjoying the sunshine. There's quite a few cafes dotted around, a few children's things. There's a bibliotheque just there, so a library. Um, actually with some really nice outdoor seating, and libraries tend to have free internet, so if you're like me and you want to spend a bit of time applying for jobs online or researching various things, they're, um, they're really good places to spend your, uh, your morning or your afternoon. Or... For mentioning the library there and applying for jobs, um, I know what you're all asking, you're all thinking, Ben, you've been in Berlin for three years now, why haven't you got a job? Um, <laughs> it's a question I ask myself as well. Uh, but the opportunities are there. At the moment, I'm, really, I'm in a real hot spot. Um, there's lots of uh, telephone interviews and hopefully some physical interviews coming up. Um, and I'm getting down to the final you know, number of people. But um, there's just others who maybe can speak German or have uh, talents and skills or experience in different areas. And, uh, you know, worst comes to worst, I just become uh, a professional YouTuber. You know, I could be one of these guys um, and girls who you know, put the camera in front of them and go, look, everyone, we're in a park, the green stuff. Should I go in the green stuff? I'll go in the green stuff. And then they go into the green stuff and they're in it and they go, I'm surrounded by green stuff. I don't know what this green stuff is. Do you know what it is? Write in, comment below. And of course they get one billion subscribers commenting on the video saying, I think you find that's grass, Dave. Um, so there's always that, you know, I could walk around lakes and I'll go, it's looking pretty murky. Shall I, shall I see what it is? I'll do a closer inspection and they zoom in on, on the water and, uh, and they basically reach the conclusion, oh, I think it's actually water in this lake. I, I don't mean to see the American accent on that. It's just um, maybe the most famous YouTubers in that regard are, um, are based out in the States. Um, but this park, actually, we've just come away from the lake. Um, and this is a really nice walkway. I've really got to find out more about the history of these um, green spaces in Berlin because the park we started in, which is I think called Skrillers, probably pronounced that wrong, um, was a poet um, and I know nothing about him, but I went to an underground station on the U6, which is the line nearest to the park, and there were old black and white photos from the early, uh, oh, I think it was 30s, maybe 20s, and this place was like a real, you know, prestigious professional, I think even English designed garden. So I've got to find out a bit more and do a bit of research. So I've um, just come out to the edge of one of the parks and uh, I've walked back in another entrance and I think I'm now, which way am I going? That way. I'm in sort of a, a path and, and these, um, these little um, gardens, for lack of a better word, I think almost the German equivalent of allotments back in the UK. However, these are extremely impressive allotments. You've got fruit trees, um, vegetables, herbs, flowers, all kinds of colorful plants, uh, little huts. Usually you see a lot of Bayern München and Borussia Dortmund uh, flags standing up here. Oh, actually around here you see a lot of Hertha Berlin uh, flags, but um, not many in this area and they're really well maintained and I think a lot of families or couples or individuals spend a lot of time here in their time off or if they're retired and they sort of you know can chill out here and I mean the huts are pretty decent there's one just here I mean that's a proper you know electricity heating water butts probably has you know television inside when it's a bit colder um, and it's really nice and I guess the dream is to to have one of these one day and then you've got some sports pictures as well. It's pretty cool. Some football. I think you've also got a hockey hockey goal. Um, yeah. Oh, I've just realised we're entering some urban area. Maybe I've left the park. Let's see. So I hope you guys can still hear me, but this is the, the sticker and the flag you see everywhere in Berlin. So I'm hoping I can hear the engine roar in the background. I'm hoping we're going to capture this. We're really close to um, Tegel Airport. And so, where is he? See the plane there? One of those famous orange and white brands, uh, <laughs> the fly planes around Europe. Um, 
Yeah, so Tiegel Airport is in the north um, west corner of Berlin, and we're not a million miles away, million, blah, 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 a million miles away from it uh, here in uh, the Vegin area. And so every now and then you have those planes come in. Usually, when I've been around here, they've been take, they've been taken off. So I don't know, maybe they switch around the runways. Um, there's a lake right by it, right, well, near enough to the airport, called Flughafensee. Um, and it's it's a really good spot. Like I've talked to people in Berlin who've lived here for a number of years and they say, oh, I've never heard of it, or I've never been there. And it's a lovely lake. It has sand, because it's an old quarry, so it's beaches. Um, before the schools broke up, the schools in Berlin broke up ridiculously early. It's still um, June and they've broken up already. They go back in mid-August or something silly like that. Every district in Berlin is different. Um, but it just seems far too early for a school holiday. And, um, well, what do I know? And, um, yeah, this lake's really cool. It's a little bit busier now, the kids are there. Um, and the water's pretty clear. I mean, if you stand there with your, you know, your feet on the, on the sand, little fish are swimming around. Um, you can see it quite clearly, and then obviously the deeper you get, the more uh, depth, and so the darker it um, becomes. Um, but yeah, great little spot, Flughafensee. So <laughs> I've just finished um, recording uh, these videos, and I've realised a couple of things. Um, one is it's probably really shaky, because I'm walking everywhere, and just looking at the camera now, it's... The other, for my international viewers, um, I've been talking quite quickly, and I know I mumble, and this was emphasised recently by a friend who showed me what happens when you put the subtitles on these videos on YouTube, and if the robots can't understand what I'm saying, then I, <laughs> non English speakers haven't got a chance. Um, so apologies, I'll try and speak clearly um, and slow it down as well. I'm, I'm schnell schnell all the time, and um, <laughs> that doesn't help. Um, but thanks for watching. This has been Ben in Berlin. I've been Ben. You've been you, I think. Um, here's a little tester as well. I haven't done the little theme song, which is from a relatively well-known uh, television show from about 25 years ago, because I'm with the kids and with the times. Um, but if you're watching this and you quite like that little song, send me a video of you singing it and I'll put it in the next video and I don't mind if it's that way or that way because life is short who cares and um, yeah I will 100% put it in I, I'm 99% sure that somebody I know very well back in Cheltenham will jump on this but let's see if he actually watches it to the very end uh, of this clip anyway cheers amigos